Doodlebutt. It's tough to beat a classic black pen, and we got quite a few in here today. Which one are we looking at? This one. This is the new Estabrook Raven, a black acrylic bodied pen with black trim. I tell you, looking pretty good. Let's get into the details. I can already tell focus is going to be tricky on this one due to the lack of contrast, but uh, we will try our best. This is a brand new release that was sent to me by the kind folks over there at Estherbrook. Uh, for the first thousand folks that order their pen, there is some lovely ink blotters that come with it as well. Custom artwork. Uh, this is done by, I believe it's and I don't know if it's Nosak or Nozak. I think the double S is like a Z. But anyways, she did uh, some fantastic work on these. I think they really go nicely with the whole theme. And on top of that, there is an Estabrook branded water bottle. There's the logo there. Who doesn't need an extra water bottle? So that looks kind of slick. So I've been playing with this here for, I guess it's been about two weeks now. And so far, so good. Also has a new filling system available. So most... Uh, the Estherbrook pens we're familiar with are something like the Esty, very, very popular pen. This will have your standard cartridge converter. The Raven does come in a cartridge converter model as well that you're pretty used to. But then this one here has a piston pump filler. So this is quite interesting. Now there are some flats on here. Uh, again, contrast will not show you, but there's some, there you go. You can just see it. There's some flats right there. You could remove it. I haven't done that. I will see if I have a tool available so we can check it out. If not, like you don't need to remove it. So don't go mess around if you <laughs> don't don't break your pens. And uh, I didn't want to do that either. But I'll see what I can do if I can crack it open so we can get a closer look. Because we got that piston pump filler, we also have a nice little feature, an ink window. I'll show you how that works as well. I'll take it apart and then to go with the whole black raven theme. You can see we have a blacked out nib. You got the Estherbrook logo on there since 1858, established 1858. Looks quite nice. These nibs are interesting. I've heard a fair amount about these from someone I was having a discussion with. And uh, actually there's gonna be an upcoming test to test out this nib versus gold nibs and some other ones as well, because I've been told they are very, very smooth. So when I got this pen, I noticed it came with one of these coated nibs and I tell you, it is noticeably different with, with uh, the smoothness, so it's been quite nice. And then, of course, the trim on here as well is that blackout uh, uh, feature as well. So, yeah, just a sharp-looking black pen. Uh, matte black, sometimes they can be a little bit more prone to showing if you have greasy hands or little dings or stuff like that. So always bear that in mind. Maybe just be a little bit more cautious. But it is lovely. One little thing. I'll show you this. So it's not a bad thing on the, uh, on the SD by any means. The pen seals very, very nicely, um, but you can see there's a cap liner down there and you do have to just kind of push down just an extra little bit. Like if you just turn it, it's not going to go. You got to just push it down a little bit. And the only thing I ever said was they made that just not have to push down so much. That would be just a slight improvement Well, on this one here. That's that's what they've done. So if, if you rest it and spin it, it won't thread itself, but almost you just have to give it just the lightest little insert and there you go you can see just how little I had to move it so yeah it's just a little bit nicer of a capping a little more natural not that extra push if you're just putting the pen in with regular force it goes in so I like that a uh, little attention to detail we got the Estherbrook logo on, logo on there not too much else it's fairly fairly simple and uh, yeah it's a Yovo nib number six size this one is equipped with a medium writes quite well. I, of course, I had to put black ink in here, but I think a cool uh, kind of contrasting ink would look good. This would be a fun pen to put like a red or a pink in or a bright green or something like that, but I went with black. I have the uh, Private Reserve Ultra Black in here right now. What I'll do is just give you a couple quick uh, size comparisons, few dimensions, stuff like that, close up on some features. I pretty much already done that already, and then we'll get right in with it, and it's quite nice. Might as well remember to tell you, uh, well, one, the length, 152 and a half, let's call it. When you go to the Estherbrook website, if you want to save 10% on whether it's this pen or other stuff, put in Doodlebud 10, that'll save you 10%. That's a slick little thing that hooked everyone up with. So 148.4 versus 152 and a half. So we're talking four millimeters longer, and that is for the piston pump version. Check out the Estherbrook website. They'll have all the details. I think it's uh, the standard one might be the same or pretty darn close to the standard SD. 
the other dimensions I think are pretty much bang on one you know, 15 and a half on the cap there same thing there I think the sections are the same too 11 and change in the middle yep same thing on this one let's just run them side by side so you can see um, threads look like they've changed a little bit different more this is a more of a square like acme style thread here the the thread on this one is a little bit more fine overall though things are fairly close a little bit difference with trim rings and whatnot again i i can't say for sure on the standard raven but on the piston pump one you can see slight differences there the two caps are pretty close you can see the ester rook at the bottom of course it's filled in on the uh, st there but the clip position a little bit higher at least here on the piston pump version Putting the flash on quick, you can see cap liners on both of them. It's like a, looks like it's a black cap liner even on the Raven. For the weight, we got, what's that? Let's call it 30-ish grams. And then just the pen body, we'll do the cap there. So we got eight and three quarter. And that leaves us with 20.8 in the body. Again, just to compare, because everyone knows the SD, let's call it 25.4 versus that 29.4. I measured the length with the pen's cap, but as you can see side by side, it's longer here in the body too. So this is just shy of 128, and this is right about 136, so about eight millimeters longer in the Raven. And again, with this is the piston pump version. Other things you might wanna know is how many turns to uncap. We got one and a half turn, so that's nice and quick. Black pen, we're gonna use my little black Muji book here to do some writing with. I find that extra little length in the pen just makes it a little bit nicer in my hand. Again, I have a fairly large hand, but uh, yeah, it just fits just a little bit nicer without having to post it. The regular SD, it's better. It's just kind of on the cusp. I write with it usually unposted. This one does post and you can put it in there, but uh, the Raven, just because it is the real flat black, it does post but I can already tell like you have to push it on a little bit. So here's the deal. When I get a, a pen that I pay for, I, I am a little more delicate with it. When I get one sent to me for review, review I should say, it, I'm a little more rough and tumble with them just to sort of see how they hold up. Um, so I would write with it posted for about a week on purpose just to see if there was any wear and tear and kind of jam it on if you weren't really paying attention. And there is just a teeny little bit of wear going on. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, I actually prefer writing with it unposted anyways, but yeah, if you want to keep it pristine, don't be doing that. Writing with this pen, it's quite lovely. I mean, it's a classic design. I don't think, no matter how you grip the pen, would you find this to be uncomfortable. And I did notice a difference with the coating on this nib. I'm not sure how it's applied. It's like, like a black oxide, they say, or uh, I don't know if that's PVD coated or just what they're putting on there. That looks definitely well, like it's lasered on there. But it does give a different feel on the page over a regular uh, steel nib. Not that a regular steel nib is bad, but I could just feel an immediate difference. It's just, I don't know what it is, if it's improved flow or whatever it does. Um, but I did, there was a notable difference. In fact, so much so, there's going to be an upcoming test with assistance from Yovo Nibs and the Vancouver Pen Club and some other folks. We're going to be doing some testing of these nibs and this type of nib and a few other ones and also a gold one to compare just how close they feel and can you tell the difference and i was sort of told that i might be surprised this one might take the cake so keep your eyes tuned for that video coming up probably in the next about two to three weeks so what i'll do now is i'll take the pen apart a little bit just to show you some bits nothing really to take apart on here um, but I'll, I will pull out the nib and feed. I'll also show you how to clean it first since there's already ink in it and then I'll show you how to ink it. I'm going to take this to the sink first. Essentially what you're going to do is just depress here the button, the plunger on the on the back just to get rid of the ink that's in there and then you'll get some water and flush it. I'll come back and I'll show you me flushing it. Like I said I did the initial cleaning in the sink and so you're just going to put it in and just press the plunger and flush it with water. You can also do it in the glass here just so I'd show you so again it's pretty straightforward you can see the bubbles and that's going to draw up your ink or your water when you're flushing it do that a few times 
it is nice you got the ink window there so you can see how you're doing as far as cleanliness goes and uh, pen is pretty clean now what I am going to do is pull out the nib unit so you can have a look so in this case I'll just gr grip it uh, sort of top and bottom and just unscrew the whole nib unit comes out like so bear in mind there are some o-rings that are on here so those could be easy to lose so pay attention you can see there's there's uh, if we can go again the contrast is going to be so tough we got one up here there is another little one down there i'll see if i can uh, show that to you by adjusting the white balance here on the camera in the post edit and you can see we have a tube so there's a little uh, tube that goes into the main ink reservoir inside and that also sort of acts as your ink window so you have the ink window in here but you're actually seeing the ink go through on the tube sorry about the focus there um, again don't lose that because then if you don't put that back on the system's not going to work and when you do put it on i've already played around with this pen um, keep in mind so if you if you put it on and it's crooked well when you put the pen back together it's going to be crooked right see what i'm saying so you screw it back on there and then if you rotate the pen see the tube is going to wobble as well you see that so just if you're taking this thing apart and all of a sudden you go hey what's up with my ink window that's uh, that could be it so just be mindful when you put this back together uh, of course my fingers are just covered in black ink now put it on there and just adjust it a little bit again there's really no need to do this but for those tinkerers out there just get it so it's nice and straight and then you can put it all back together and you won't have that happen so checking the flat on the back it's about let's call that five millimeters and so i just don't have the right type of wrench to get on there because it's got to be thin as well that's a very small gap so it's going to be like sheet metal essentially that's stamped out but to get on there and uh, and be able to pop that piston uh, pump mechanism out there to give it a quicker uh, closer look i should say but anyways you, you don't take it out there's there's really no need to it's put together properly another thing if you prefer to clean the pen out you can just unscrew the whole nib unit together and then of course just shoot some water in there and that will flush it out too i found this ink i thought let's put something neat in there so this is a bottle of twisby crimson a little small one this is in the discount aisle at the old vancouver pen shop that is the first place i always go to to see what they got for deals so you're just going to put it into the bottle let's see if i can do it down here i'm trying to watch and also record put it into the bottle and you just oh focus here we go <laughs> and just give it a few pumps i can hear the air i'll just do it a couple times and out we go i thought it would be brighter to really show it off but i guess it's a pretty dark red don't know about you, but I am curious to see what this crimson looks like. My overall thoughts when it comes to the new Esterbrook Raven, I like it. It is a sharp looking black pen. I really like the treatment with the uh, sort of matching black trim rings and the clip, all that type of stuff. I think it looks really good together. Ink window's nice. Uh, you know, it's nice that there's a new filling system. Usually it's cartridge converter on their pen, so it's cool to see something like that. Ink window is also very, very considerate. They put that in there too, because that is one thing. If you have, uh, you know, or really any pen, but especially like your piston fillers or a vacuum filler, if you don't have an ink window, it is a bit of a guessing game because you can't even unscrew the section to check the ink like you can on these. So that's nice that they put that in there. And I am enjoying this nib. Uh, this is my first one I've tried with this uh, black Yovo nib. And yeah, I did notice a difference on how it writes, and it's very, very good. I like how the capping on the pen has been improved, but it doesn't give up any of the sealing. It still seals wonderfully. I left it for a week just to make sure. Wrote right away. So overall, it's really good. Like I said about the only thing is, and I did it on purpose just to see, is uh, just be careful if you do want to post the pen i don't you don't need to it's plenty big but if you are a must poster for your pens don't be surprised on this one if there's a little bit of a black ring and that's just if anytime you have flat black it's going to show up if you scuff it or whatever so just always be careful if you have a flat black pen just really be mindful of it definitely carry it in a case speaking of cases i'm going to put mine back into the case so check out the Esterbrook uh, website for details. Don't forget, DoodleBud10 saves you 10%, the first 1,000 folks.
there's all this cool artwork available with the blotter cards and then over here you got the Estherbrook water bottle to go with the two so that's sort of a nice little touch little limited time deal but there we are don't forget there's a button that says subscribe you should push it we should also chat down there and do a thumbs up until then we'll catch you next time